Hello everyone. Today's video is about creating a custom robot in ROS. That is creating a URDF in ROS. Today we are going to create a robot which is called Trixie. It's going to be a circular robot with two wheels and some sensors attached to it. The first part of the video will be just to create the URDF package and a basic structure of the robot. And in the next video, we'll be looking at the concepts of how to add wheels, how other sensors, and basically get inputs from that. This is the package where you'll be able to get whatever we are going to cover in this video. And I'm going to add a link down below. So let's get into it. The dependencies for this package will be Zacro and Gazebo. I'm sure you would have Gazebo, but you might not have Zacro. So if you don't have, just copy paste this, making sure you add the correct version which you need. So you remove this, add whatever version you are using and then go ahead. I already have those dependencies with me, so I'm not going to follow the steps, but we're going to follow the steps to see how we can get the robot. So let's see, I need to git clone this, so I'm just going to copy paste this. If you're very sure about you'll not occur to any errors. You can just copy paste this all over together in your terminal and you'll be good to go. But to show you guys, I'm going to go one line by line. So I'm going to go to desktop. That is where I want to load this package. I'm going to git clone this. The next step is we'll go inside Robometrics. That is this line and I'm going to copy paste this over here. Control C V, that is how you can copy paste in your environment inside terminal. And then I'm gonna uh, check out URDF1 branch. So why I'm checking out URDF1 branch is the that is the branch which will have the contents you need for the first video. I'm gonna keep on adding more things to the master branch for this video series, but every video will have a separate branch so that you are not confused how to go forward with the branch and the videos so i'm checking out urdf1 okay okay we are switched to that and i'm done do catkin underscore make okay and the next part is you're going to source your terminal so source devil setup dot bash great we are inside it so before we run the last ross launch trixie world dot launch let's go forward and see what is inside our packages so i'm gonna go inside desktop and i'm gonna go inside rubometrics underscore workspace let's see so we are now at the trixie package where our all the information is loaded so inside Trixie, you have three folders. You have three directories. The first one is launch. The second one is the URDF, which has the Zacro file inside it. And the third one is worlds that are later on. We are going to add more world inside it. But just now we only have a empty world inside it. Before we go to the world, let's see what an Zacro file is and what does it have. I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code and let's get into the real part. Okay, so this line is the robot name that is the name is Trixie. If you want to use any other particular name, go ahead. You can just give it as my robot or robot one if you have multiple robots, but I would say that keep it consistent because otherwise if you don't remember the name or if it's not consistent you can get really messy inside what to keep inside the launch file and what goes in the different aspects like so i would suggest that keep it simple and make sure you don't misspell it and stuff like that okay so the sacro file has what will the robot look like the color, the material and stuff like that. And what are the links in it? So right now 
we have link name is equal to chassis that's the basic frame of the robot and which will have three contents that is its inertial aspect the collision aspect and the visual aspect and each of them will have an origin the geometry and inertia for the inertial aspect basically the inertial aspect also has mass in it okay and uh, don't i would suggest not to play around much with the inertial aspect if you're not very sure about it you can go ahead and change the collision and the uh, visual aspect you can change it from cylinder to cuboid or stuff like that but i would suggest not to play around much with this with the geometry aspect here we have a cylinder which is of the length 0.2 that is the height basically and the radius is 0.25 and same will keep in the visual make sure you keep both the things same otherwise if you keep the visual less or if you forget to put the visual aspect it'll be like you just cannot see the robot so if you have some error like that that also might be that you don't have any visual aspect when you see that you have the collision aspects the next next thing is the back chester collision that is the back chester wheel and the front chester wheel okay and each of them again will have the same things that is the origin the geometry and again origin and geometry we don't really have a inertial aspect here because we want it to be free wheeling with the robot it's just there to give the robot a support so that it does not you know when we just have two wheels it doesn't uh get down or you know fall apart basically and again there's uh since it's a sphere we only have radius over here and uh, in the visual aspect also that's the origin now what does origin exactly mean okay it's basically the reference frame of that particular link so here the link name is just this the same thing when we add more things there are going to be different links so that's the reference frame of this particular link to the reference frame which will be connected to the different link so make sure you have the correct origin that here we say that it's at 0 0 so connected to that is what at you know it's a reference from this to this 0 0 0 make sure you are sure about it and uh, if you see in z is 0.05 that we are saying that it's in air if we don't put it uh, if the caster wheels are not there and if we still put the robot here it'll just fall down because you are telling it to be at height of 0.05 but when we load it in gazebo due to gravity it will just fall down so don't forget to add the caster wheels you can play around with the shapes and the structure overall once we are done with the full body you get better idea so this was all about the zacro file a link a uh, a good to to a link to what you can see more details about it a link a web page where you can have more information about this okay so the next thing is the worlds so we only need an empty world here we don't really need anything else because we just launching it in an empty world and later on you can add more things inside it in the next video or in a separate video to know more about it okay so to begin with the empty world you just need uh, the you know ground plane the sun so that you have a light source and the world camera frame that is where you start looking at the whole structure from in gazebo that's the gui part of it you don't really need to understand this much but if you just want it to be there in any world file you need these things okay and uh, yeah the world name is by called default and uh, this is pretty simple so the next part after that is the launch file we're just going to go briefly over both the launch files we have a separate video on understanding how to write a launch file so to begin with we going to understand what is world.launch and what all is there inside it okay hmm so there are different parts in it 
the first part is the robot pose the it only has the arguments that is argument m x is zero argument y equals to zero and such that roll pitch you are exactly where it's used is in the urdf spawner that is where do you spawn your robot that place that is you add the robot uh, node name that is spawner package is gazebo ross don't change anything inside it uh, this will be very consistent all you need to change is different values over here so that it gets replaced over here and you can spawn your robot at different places one more thing this will be the name of whatever robot you have so make sure if you change the robot name you change it to the name you want it to be the next part is launching the robot description dot launch we'll come back to it in few minutes that is we'll understand the robot description dot launch file then we launch the world file that is the argument name is world file and where it's located that it's inside prixie worlds and it's empty dot world and this are some of the include file for that that is gazebo ron gazebo ross launch empty world dot launch and uh, some arguments which we need to launch it again this will be very consistent only things which will be changing is this part according to whatever world you are using i hope this makes sense and the last part okay so this you might not really need it because now we have added this inside our launch uh, robot description dot launch you can remove it if you want i'm just going to keep it over here as this is there on my git hub page i'm not going to change it for this video and yeah and the lastly robot description dot launch okay so the robot description package is a very important package when you are working with urdfs what it does is it basically converts the zacro file into a urdf okay so if you don't have this your robot is just a zacro file it's not yet a urdf so what it does is from trixy urdf it takes the trixy dot zacro file and converts it to be able to use all the facilities of a urdf and we just going to launch it so let's see after launching what we get so if we go to our github page this is the last line which we need to run let's run this great so as i told in the zacro file this is the cylinder with the height as this and this radius is this and you will be wondering where the caster wheels are these are the two caster wheels so i was saying if you don't add the caster wheels the robot will just fall down imagine that if you don't have that due to gravity it will just fall down in the next video we're going to add two wheels over here here and here few sensors on the top to see like lidar and camera and stuff and then we're going to color it to make it look pretty this was all for this video i hope you understood it keep watching robometrics